we will learn something more on chemical equilibrium. The things we will be covering in this video are, we will learn what a reaction quotient is. We will also learn how if a reaction is changed, the equilibrium constant changes. And we will learn some, we will do some questions on which way the reaction will proceed. And we will do some question on equilibrium constant also. We will learn something about reaction quotient. Reaction quotient is given the symbol Q. Consider the reaction AA plus BB giving you CC. And the reaction quotient for this reaction is concentration of C raised to the power of C divided by concentration of A raised to the power of A, concentration of B raised to the power of B. So looking at it, you will see that this is similar to the K equilibrium uh, equation. Both are exactly same. So what is the difference between the two? In case of Q, the concentration of the reactants and products are not at equilibrium. It can be at any point, whereas in case of KEQ, the concentration of the reactants and products are at equilibrium. Or we can say that uh, the concentrations are equilibrium concentrations. And uh, depending on the value of an Q and K, we can predict which way the reaction will proceed. If Q and K are equal, then the reaction is at equilibrium. If Q is greater than K, equilibrium then the reaction will go in the reverse direction and if Q is less than uh, K equilibrium the reaction will go in the forward direction. So we will learn about how to manipulate equilibrium constant but what I mean actually by it I have a reaction it has a particular equilibrium constant. If I change the reaction how will the equilibrium constant change that's what we are going to learn in this slide. I consider two reactions uh, reaction 1 where A combines with B to give you C and reaction 2 where C gives you D. And the equilibrium constant for the both the reactions are given over there as K1 and K2. And as you have learned before also, equilibrium constant is product over reactants and their concentrations are be raised to the power of the stoichiometry. And then, so the first uh, thing what you are going to learn is reverse the equation. What? How will K change when you reverse the equation? So if I reverse equation 1, it will become 3C giving you A plus 2B. The equilibrium uh, constant for this reaction will be concentration of A, concentration of B raised to the power of 2 divided by concentration of C raised to the power of 3. And if you compare K1 dash with K1, you realize that K1 dash is just 1 over K1. The second one which you are going to do in this, multiply equation 1 by 2. When I multiply equation 1 by 2, I get equation 1 double dash 2A plus 4B giving you 6C. And K1 double dash for this equation is concentration of C raised to the power of 6 divided by concentration of A raised to the power of 2, concentration of B raised to the power of 4. So compare K1 double dash and K1, you realize that K1 double dash is twice that of, uh, sorry, not twice, K1 double dash is K1 raised the power of 2. So don't make a mistake, it's not twice. The new K gets, uh, becomes the square of the previous one. We will continue with the manipulating equilibrium constant. Just for your reference, the equations are given again. The third one we are going to do is divide the equation by 2. So for what will happen if I divide an equation? So when I divide equation by 2, uh, the equation 1 becomes A plus B giving you 3 by 2 C. And the K1 triple dash for this equation is given. And if I compare K1 triple dash with uh, K1, I find that it is be the square root of K1. So div dividing by any number, then you have to, if you divide it by 2, Take the square root of the original k. And the fourth one is, what will happen if I add two equations? So add equations 1 and 2. The equations, the c will get cancelled and I will get a plus 2b giving you d. And uh, look at the, if you write the equilibrium constant, how do I get k3? So when I am adding it, I have written the value for k1. And I have written the value of K2. When I multiply the two, the C's will get cancelled and I will get K3. 
So therefore, K3 is basically the product of K1 and K2. Therefore, when you add the two equations, multiply the equilibrium constants. In this, I am just uh, putting all the things which we learned together in one place. So when I reverse the equation, K1 dash is equal to 1 over K1. Multiply an equation by 2. K1 double dash is K1 raised to the power of 2. Divide an equation by 2. K1 triple dash is root of K1. And when you add two equation, K3 is equal to K1 times K2. We will do one question now. Predict the direction of the reaction for the given concentrations. The K equilibrium of the reaction is 4.7 10 to the power of negative 2. Concentration of nitrogen is 3. Concentration of hydrogen is 2. Concentration of ammonia is 0.5 molar. And the equation given to you is nitrogen plus hydrogen giving you ammonia. So, since they have asked you for the direction, first write the value of Q. The Q for the reaction is given there. And then calculate the value of Q uh, by substituting the concentration values given. And I get the value of Q is equal to 1.0 10 to the power of negative 2. We have learned previously that how to compare Q and K. And uh, compare Q and K and you realize that Q is less than K equilibrium. So, since Q is less than K equilibrium, uh, referring to the table, the reaction will go in the forward direction or in other words, more ammonia will be formed. We will do a question on the manipulation of K. The value of K equilibrium for the reaction given below is 1.2 10 to the power of negative 3. Calculate the K equilibrium for the reactions. There are two equations given to you. So, uh, first, let's do the first question. The first question, if you look at it, it is just the reverse of the equation given. And we have just learned that when you reverse the equation, the new K is just 1 over K1. So, the K1 dash is equal to 1 over 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And that I get as 8.0 10 to the power of 2. And then the B, if you look at B, you can see that the original equation is actually just multiplied by 3. So, any multiplication of the equation, we have to raise it to the power. Therefore, K1 uh, double dash will be equal to K1 raised the power of 3. And I get the value as 1.7 10 to the power of negative 9. 